In December of 2015, Denrec's Division of Fish and Wildlife sank the former Army and Navy ship Shearwater onto the Del Jersey Land Reef, an artificial reef about 26 nautical miles southeast of the Indian River Inlet. What artificial reefs are is a placement of man-made materials either designed as reefs or recycled materials such as concrete products, uh, derelict vessels that have outlived their life span and a wide variety of other materials uh, that are a little more obscure like uh, military v vehicles like tanks or uh, subway cars. The Shearwater was commissioned as a coastal freighter for the Army in 1944 and was later converted to a Navy survey support ship. The 190-foot vessel ended its working life as a Manhattan boat out of Reedville, Virginia. Before it could be reefed, the 71-year-old Shearwater needed extensive environmental cleanup and preparation. Well, there are several considerations and uh, the Coast Guard and Environmental Protection Agency have uh, oversight on different aspects of the cleanup. In this case, uh, it was worked on part-time over a couple of year period, but uh, probably had six or seven solid months of, uh, of serious effort to, to do it. So that's, that's where part of the expense is in, in the program. And uh, of course the other part is in towing the ship. Any, any kind of marine transportation is, is relatively costly. Once the ship was towed out to the reef site, the team attempted to have the vessel settle upright on the seafloor. We went to uh, considerable effort to, to flood three interior compartments within the shear water. The thought was that any uh, tendency of the ship to roll over would be reduced. And that, was, that was the hope, but uh, despite all our best efforts, the uh, vessel did uh, list the port as she was going down. and. Uh, flipped over completely at that point and about eight feet of the bow yeah! uh, remained yeah! sticking up out of the, out of the bottom. We had to uh, put the crew back on the tugboat and approach that bow and try to hold the tug right there while they, they used a uh, abrasive wheel to uh, cut through the quarter inch thick uh, steel plate and release air which was trapped in there and that eventually uh, succeeded in sinking the ship uh, before sunset. <laughs> but it did take uh, longer than expected and uh, from what we could tell she ended up on, on one side on the bottom. Of course if they're upright and look like a vessel they're, they're more interesting to the divers. I think the fish don't really care one way or the other. The Shearwater is just the latest addition to Delaware's artificial reef system, joining a number of other vessels, including an ex-destroyer three times its length. Well, we have uh, sunk 23 uh, steel-hulled vessels on the reef sites. Uh, the vast majority of development that we have done has been with concrete products, but uh, certainly vessels are the more high-profile and interesting uh, additions to the reefs and we've sunk vessels from 40 feet up to uh, the Arthur W. Radford, a retired destroyer uh, we sank a few years ago. It was uh, 653 feet long and it's the longest vessel ever uh, sunk on an artificial reef in the Atlantic. The artificial reefs create a rich and diverse habitat that supports a large fish population. And that does two things. It provides a hard substrate for the attachment of a completely unique and rich uh, invertebrate community, uh, mostly blue mussels and several dozen other species of crabs, shrimp and worms and that sort of thing. That It's completely different from the invertebrates that live in the sand bottom and up to 400 times richer in terms of food for fish per square foot than uh, what would naturally be found out there. And basically everything from uh, very small fish up to black sea bass, tautog, bluefish, and sharks. It benefits fish and it also provides fishing opportunities for uh, hook and line anglers. Delaware has 14 permitted artificial reef sites in the Delaware Bay and coastal waters, with five of the sites located in federal ocean waters. 
Denrec's development of the reef sites began in 1995 as a part of a comprehensive fisheries management effort by the Division of Fish and Wildlife's Delaware Reef Program. The Artificial Reef Program is administered by the Division of Fish and Wildlife with primary funding provided through the Federal Aid and Sport Fish Restoration Program of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service.